Hi there. Uh, this is a quick video just to uh, demonstrate how to get uh, DDE or OPC data into Excel. Uh, we'll start off with an overview. Um, we'll be showing uh, various ways how to get uh, data into Excel using DDE, uh, OPC, and even a little bit of uh, VB just to uh, throw the alphabet soup at you. Uh, we won't be going. Uh, we won't be doing any overview of uh, the OPC technology or of the DDE technology. So, you'll, if you aren't familiar with those, you'll have to uh, you have to seek out sources on those on your own. Uh, so let's uh, let's get right into it. Uh, the first uh, the first method that I'm going to uh, show today is uh, something called pull DDE. Uh, this is where you use Excel as a DDE client and uh, uh, your OPC server, your DDE server as the DDE server. Um, this requires that your OPC server supports DDE. Um, in MageCon OPC servers, this would be under the advanced options. Um, and uh, you can see the example uh, tag syntax. So I'm going to be jumping back and forth between the presentation and uh, live demos here. So uh, just bear with me. I'll minimize that. I'm going to actually go and launch that uh, MageCon OPC server because DDE can't launch the services. And you can actually do this directly from Excel. I'm going to move my tag syntax on the side here because there's a lot of typing. Equals matricon uh, OPC simulation one. And I've got to pipe in there random dot int one, which is just one of the random tags in there. zero in there. It's going way too fast. Okay, so now you can see uh, this is just a really quick example of how I can get data from uh, an OPC server that also supports DDE into Excel. Uh, this is values only, uh, no timestamps, no qualities, uh, and getting it running over a, a remote connection is going to be a real, uh, real pain. So I'm just going to close Excel and I'm going to continue on to the next uh, method here. <coughs> The next method that we have here is something called push DDE. Um, previously, we we're using Excel as, as kind of the master. In this instance, Excel is going to be the slave. We're going to be pushing the data in uh, using an OPC server for DDE. So I'm just going to start that up right now. Um, if you're using the MageCon OPC server for DDE, there it is. Uh, I need to define a new configuration. Um, in this instance, you need the uh, need the service name to match exactly which service you want, so I have to use Excel as the name here. Yes, I'd like it enabled. Okay, here I'm done. Uh, I should go start up my device, which in this instance is Excel. I'm just going to kind of minimize that, put it on the other side, and then maybe I will start up Net OPC Explorer, which in this instance will be my OPC client. So just to go back to the slide, uh, what I'm doing is I'm starting OPC Explorer as the client. I'm going to use OPC to talk to the OPC server for DDE, and I'm going to push DDE into Excel. Okay, so I'm going to grab this. I'm going to just start putting data right into this one here. So I'm going to uh, connect to my DDE server, add a group, uh, Excel, and you can see here that there's no tag browsing with DDE. It just gives me some uh, a hint tag here, and I know that. I can just go sheet one, exclamation mark, row one, column one. Hopefully that resolves. Now it starts with bad out service, and this is because there's no data in that cell. Um, I can either put data into that cell, or I can write data into that cell to uh, uh, to give it a value and make it valid. And you can see it popped over into uh, Excel, and it's also in my OPC Explorer. Uh, I have a one second update right here. It's pretty fast. But uh, it's not instantaneous. It is a one-second update rate. Uh, so if I type F6 in here, it takes about a second to get over to my OPC client. So again, this is just a very quick demonstration. This was a push DDE, so I'm pushing the data into Excel. I could also I could also pull it out from my OPC client, but the point here is that uh, the OPC client is the boss of this uh, this conversation, whereas previously uh, Excel was the boss. So that was uh, method number two. Uh, method number three here, OPC via the OPC Automation DLL. 
Uh, this requires that you have access to the uh, uh, VB uh, DLLs that contain the OPC client code that is the OPC automation DLL. Uh, you need to know a little bit about VB, you need to mess around with the code, um, and uh, I don't find it as flexible as uh, some of the other options here because you really do need to code up uh, uh, quite a bit to, to get things going. I'm not going to do that for you because uh, that would make this video way too long. Uh, I just have an example here that I'm going to pop open that I've already uh, coded up. And you can see here there's a bunch of random data. Maybe I'm fooling you and this is just random data I'm generating. Now this is actually OPC and I'll, sh I'll show you uh, uh, where you code this in is just under the Visual Basic Editor here. And you can see here that uh, this is just a sample of some of the code you'd use. So since I'm using a, a a DLL, a shared library, I can make calls like server.connect matriconopc.simulation and that'll work and that'll get me uh, uh, that'll get me data. And you can see that <coughs> that I am getting data out of that using uh, using Excel. Okay, so that was example number three. B again, we're, this is a very quick demonstration uh, using uh, Excel as the, uh, the master with a little bit of VB code. The third example we're going to use is just uh, an OPC Excel plugin, just something off the shelf. Magecon's instance, this is OPC to Excel, um, and this is just packaging. It, it would be like if you programmed it, but if you did like an awesome job of it, and you had all the functions all put in the same spot, uh, all our con common uses into a single interface. We can do tag browsing, we can do timestamps, we can do OPC qualities. We can do we even do uh, OPC HDA. I won't show that today, but that's uh, historical reads and writes. So I'm going to open up Excel. That's just available up here in the uh, under the OPC toolbar here and uh, yeah I'll, why don't I just uh, uh, read out some current values <coughs> so I'm going to connect uh, which server here I'll grab data out of simulation and here's a nice part I get to browse for the uh, for the tags so I don't have to mess around with any uh, any tag syntaxes uh, into sure why not and share qualities. Yeah, I'll take them as text. OPC qualities uh, when they're not decoded are just uh, are just numbers. So I'd rather see this text so I can uh, understand it myself. And you can see after a brief moment there, it uh, pops into good, and I start getting data, and it's uh, it's updating. So this is uh, again very a very brief, very quick little video on how to uh, get production data uh, via OPC or DDE into Excel. It also works the other way around, but uh, typically most people are trying to get data into it Excel. Uh, I hope you found the video informative. If you have any questions, just uh, shoot us an email or visit our website at matriconopc.com.